आज हमारे साथ हैं कमांडर राम गुरु सर इज एन एक्स मरीनर फ्रॉम द इंडियन नेवी एंड देन उसके बाद सर ने वाइल ही वाज इन नेवी ही आल्सो डिड एन एग्जीक्यूटिव एमबीए प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम द फैकल्टी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज ही कंप्लीटेड अ सिक्स सिग्मा ग्रीन बेल्ट फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल आई मीन आईएसआई इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आफ्टर दैट ही हैज वर्क विद ग्रैंड थॉन्टन एज अ कंसल्टेंट Uh, recently sir has taken over the mission to uh, kind of help and coach and guide officers into the transition journey from uniform to uh, the corporate oblique cv streets when they are looking for a career uh, in, in the second the innings to hum sir se baat cheet karte rehte hain usi ke silsile mein aaj humne sir ko invite kiya hai to help us understand the basic nuances of a cover letter जो जनरली ये मतलब पीपल हैव दिस आइडिया कि शुड देयर बी अ कवर लेटर विद अ सीवी और नॉट और और रादर टू से रिज्यूम है नॉट अगर है तो उसमें क्या होना चाहिए एटसेट्रा तो सर से आज उसी के बारे में एक थोड़ी सी चर्चा करेंगे सर वेलकम टू द टॉक टुडे सर ओके थैंक यू सो मच विपुल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रियली ऑनर टू बी हियर फॉर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन एंड इट रियली इज डेफिनेटली अ हार्टनिंग टू विटनेस द काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट दैट यू एंड योर टीम आर पुटिंग इन to make this transition journey for the veterans little smoother and little easy uh, right as they move into the corporate world and uh, thank you for inviting me for this uh, important uh, discussion thank you so much sir mera ek na start mein bahut hi basic doubt hai basic sahi sawal hai ki jo cover letter exactly hota kya hai okay so that's a good uh, you know we must always start from the basic you know first principle so we pull cover letter is basically a personalized document that we generally send with a resume so basically it serves as if i talk about myself right so if i send a cover letter so it basically it serves as my introduction and it also gives me an opportunity to convey my unique story my unique value propositions skills my experience in the forge and how actually it relates to the particular company or the job that i applying for and basically you know it's a very narrative driven format where it's a very very personalized kind of a note in fact the other day i was asking someone a military veteran and he said ki cover letter is basically a summary of a resume i will not actually agree to that answer because uh, wo summary ka jo res- uh, resume ka jo summary actually it comes on the top only right so it is much more than that it basically shows that your understanding of that company mission ho vision ho right unke planning ho and how do you fit into the whole ecosystem right so in fact it is much more than uh, what generally people like to call it ye thoda sa mera sa summary hai uh, of my expertise and the job description over to you okay so थोड़ा सा इसको और एलेबरेट करें कि देन हाउ कैन एन वेटरन हु इज अप्लाइंग फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन एंड यूजिंग अ कवर लेटर देन हाउ कैन दे इफेक्टिवली कम्युनिकेट दी ट्रांसफरेबल स्किल्स दे हैव व्हिच वुड हेल्प देम गेट द जॉब इन द कवर लेटर्स नाउ सी विपुल वी अंडरस्टैंड राइट फॉर इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ क्रॉस फंक्शनल रोल responsibilities various tenures various designation that they do so they have got wealth of skills matlab aap leadership ki baat karo time management ki baat karo problem solving ki baat karo people management ki baat karo so they have got all these skills you know developed over a period of time kabhi adjutant ki tarah se ho sakta hai kabhi department in charge ho sakta hai kabhi yc of a unit ho sakta hai right so first and foremost we need to pinpoint and take out these skills and articulate them in their cover letter that's the first thing now second thing is while we do this we should do it in such a manner ki jiske liye hum likh rahe hain usko samajh aaye right apne ko samajh aaye ki wo theek hai but the thing is a civilian employer or a person in the corporate should be able to make meaning out of what we have written right in fact i remember jab initially maine 10 saal pehle apna cover letter banaya tha so i had given to one of my classmate who was actually a civilian person who was working in the corporate so jab usne mera you know cover letter dekha he said ram ye sab tumne kya likha hai i mean you have written something else staff electrical officer you know instructor ekm 
some major refit, minor refit. I mean, what are these? If I do not understand, I'm sure even other people will not understand. And if nobody understands what you have written, so it does not make any sense whatever you have written. You know, it could, it could be one of the greatest things that you have done. But if it doesn't serve any purpose. So then I realized, yes, whatever he was saying, correct. Because when I was reading it, I was reading it. Or if I was reading it, I was reading it. Because he was understanding it. But civilian friends didn't understand it. So while we are saying that, you know, you must uh, put all these skills and whatever thing you have done in the forge. But important point to remember here is, you should have done it. Use the language that the other person can understand. But important point to remember here is, use the language that the other person can understand. And third thing will be, you know, rather than writing a very generic, ki, I got this skills, I possess this experience, you know, highlight some examples. Just agar, suppose if somebody has said, ki, okay, I conducted training sessions, ya multi nation exercise, then what was it? Where what is done? What was the scale? You know, how many people took part? So that that basically gives little credibility and trust to what we have written. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, it's generic, hai, toh, you know, because every Fauji ka resume mein hi rehta hai, every Fauji ka covering letter mein hi rehta hai. So, how do you stand out with your own experience, with your own value proposition and different from somebody else? Right? So, that is basically the, uh, you know, core importance of uh, writing a cover letter. And in fact, I'll go one step further and say, ki, basically, na, it also shows your hidden talent or hidden skill of Communication or hidden skill of writing, right? Because corporate may have force, you know, uh, report writing, document writing, presentation skills. So those are also a thing which is actually required at that particular level wherever our forges are going. So kahin na kahin, jab koi padta hai usko cover letter ko, to unko ek sense aa jaati ki what is the style that this particular person is writing, how well equipped he or she is in you know, written communication. Over to you. I mean, if I have to understand this, how important it is for me to tailor my cover letter to uh, the requirements of a specific JD and how do I go about it? So, as we already said, right, uh, cover letter is not a standard letter that we write for once and say, ki bhaiya, ye se likha, so let it go for every resume. Because it accompanies a resume so if resume changes for any particular job obviously the cover letter also change that is the first aspect now second thing that you asked was how do we tailor it so how do we tailor it to a resume in fact resume to a job description so first thing is be very very attentive read the job decision very very carefully that what are the various skills that particular job demands Right? For example, if the job demands the project management skills, right, then a veteran should highlight project management skills or those related skills which are required to lead or manage a project and not other skills. Right? And second is, you know, show only the relevant experiences that is required for that particular job. For example, uh, if a job says that it requires a very, very strong communication skills, right? then highlight those skills, take out some examples. Like if, if I talk about myself, uh, while in the Navy, I had gone as for campaigning, you know, to various engineering colleges uh, for recruitment drive and uh, why should they join Navy and what are the various opportunities to join the Navy. Of course, as a part of the recruitment team, right? So that basically, you know, it can be used wherever they say that this particular job requires interaction with a third party, or it needs to take part in some communication drive or cam campaign. So if the job says that, then we need to cite those relevant experiences and just should not say that I've got a very, very good communication skills right written or verbal both so showcasing those skills are very very important and third thing is you know how do we make it tailor-made to that particular resume or that position is learning about the mission vision right what is that they are doing that particular company or the position that required so that is basically what actually makes it unique and how my own background or my experience aligns with 
the company's value system or the belief system or the culture. Right? So if you do all these, then definitely your one cover letter for one job will not be the same cover letter for any other job. That means we have basically tailored our cover letter to that particular resume which actually we are applying. Over to you. So one last question. While writing this cover letter, what are the common mistakes which uh, transitioning officers make? Ek apne batai diya tha ki wo, uh, they tend to use their existing I mean, jargons or, or the existing uh, designations, etc. of uniform. Uske alawa, kya galti hai karte hai? I mean, few tips which can help a cover letter stand out uh, to potential employers. Okay, okay. Okay, then I see basically in life, no, uh, it is equally important to know what not to be done as it is important to know what is to be done. Right? So black and white demo, this is the black demo and this is the white demo. So we saw, okay, what is the white demo, then how actually most of the things should be. I think one point you really covered that, yes, you know, avoid military jargons, basically those words, those abbreviations which the civilian counterpart may not actually understand right and it has occupied some space in our cover letter but agar unko samaj nahi aara, that means basically it's a wastage of that particular space whatever it is we could have actually written something else that the other person could have understand now uh, you know the other day i was looking through somebody's uh, cover letter do page right cover letter do page resume do page so I said, itna lamba cover letter ki kya zarurat hai? I mean, I 25 years I have put in and I wanted to highlight all these skills, uh, you know, which was, I felt very, very important, which is already there in me and this is required for the job. I mean, see, nobody has got time to look into two long page narratives as a cover letter. So first thing is, make it short, right? Brevity is the key. Generally, ek page se thoda kam, maybe three fourths hoga to best hai. Because resume to hai na, matlab, you, we cannot actually replicate the resume ki chalo match cover letter bhi do do page bana deta So first not to do is not to be lengthy. Keep it maybe three fourths of a page. That should be fine. Because if we take into consideration ki kya kya point is mein aane chahiye and how do I align. So I think uh, this can be easily done. Now that is the number one. Second is, you know, avoid the generic cover letter. Because generally, if we have a cover letter, it was very good, it was a lot of work for me to make it. And when I gave it to somebody else, he said, wow, the cover letter was very good. Then we thought, if we have done so much work in this letter, so why do I need to change, right? Because uh, it talks about my own experiences, my own skills. So it is fixed, it can't change. What I have done, I have done. So why do I need to change? So, you know, again, sending the same cover letter with every kind of resume. So that we said, it does not work because it needs to tailor, tailor made for that particular job for that particular company. Even let's say the job is same, you know, let's say operation manager in a supply chain. But if it has moved from Mahindra Logistics to, for example, to Amazon, the job may be same, but the company has changed. Right? So a lot of people say, sir, role, role to same hi mera. And us role may required responsibilities skills sets are same but i said the company has changed their value system has changed their mission has changed their vision has changed so if those things have changed obviously your cover letter needs to change right so avoid the generic cover letter jitna bhi mehnat kiya koi baat nahi ho uske liye kya tha but the, every time you write cover letter it becomes you know second time will become easier than the first third will become easier than the second so you know it's worth time invested usme koi problem nahi hai and third is, you know, it very, very important. Proofreading for typos, formatting, sentence formation mistakes. I mean, imagine if uh, you go through, you know, a resume uh, plus a cover letter. And cover letter, you can see that there are grammatical mistakes. Hai. I mean, what impression will you get of that particular candidate? He is not very, very sincere. He is not committed. You know, uh, he could have actually reread once. If you read it once, you will not have any mistakes. And cover letter, first thing somebody reads, first impression that it makes. 
and you don't get second chance to make that first impression right and as somebody said uh, you know the way we do anything is the way we do everything so basically you know it's giving a wrong impression maybe aap you aise nahi ho but the thing is that's what people will perceive because they read that and they found so much so many mistakes in that cover letter itself right so cover letter needs to be crafted and it should showcase who you are as a person right and how do you actually fit well into that current job into that current company so i think if you take care of you know these minor let's say points i think the craft uh, the crafting of the cover letter will be definitely very very good over mm -hmm. to you thank you so much sir that was very relevant and uh, informative on cover letter i am sure uh, people who are transitioning they'll find a lot of value in this particular piece of advice thank you so much for your time sir. on your faith on your dreams on your mind